Well, from day one, the coronavirus shutdown orders had been used by governors to reward their friends and crush their enemies. Now, Gavin Newsom in the state of California is trying to shut down a church whose politics he doesn't like. The church is resisting, and the pastor joins us next. So, uh the founders of this country had a keen understanding of the importance of religious freedom because so many of them were fleeing religious persecution. So they protected the exercise of religion in the very First Amendment to the Bill of Rights. Governor of California Gavin Newsom doesn't care. He's using his new coronavirus powers to shut down churches that disagree with him. The Episcopal Church is fine. They're fully on his team. But places like Grace Community Church in Los Angeles are not, and he's threatening to shutter them. Pastor John MacArthur runs that church and has for a long time. We're happy to have him on tonight. Pastor, thanks so much for coming on. Give us a quick overview of why you think you should reopen given the coronavirus. Well, first of all and foremost, it's a First Amendment right. This is the United States yes. of America, and, and the government can't intrude in worship. We stand on that amendment. Um, the, the second thing that makes this so sensible is in the state of California, there are 40 million people. 8,500 of them have died with COVID. That's 0 0.002. So in California, you have a 99.99% chance to survive COVID. So why would you shut down the entire state? And particularly when people are frightened and sometimes terrified that they're going to die, shut down the church where most of the intense relationships in our society exist in the life yes. of a church. It's multi-generational. We've had 21 weeks with no ministry to a thousand little children, to a thousand university students, to junior high students, high school students, senior adults. We've had no funerals, no weddings. I can't go to the hospital. I've had to go on the phone to talk to dying people at the hospital. Uh. And finally, I started preaching in an empty auditorium. I did it two weeks, three weeks, and the people, without us saying anything, started coming back. They didn't buy the narrative. They didn't buy it, and they started coming back. By the way, we're the original protesters. We go back 500 years to the Protestant Reformation. We're, we're still protesting lies and deception for the sake of the truth. So they started coming back, and they kept coming back, and last Sunday, 3,000 of them came back. And they rejoiced, and they hugged each other, and they didn't wear masks, and they sang songs. And um, they understand the reality of it. I haven't had to say anything. We finally put out a document, which you probably read, which affirms why this is right and why it's critical yep. for our society. And I, would, I hope our, our viewers would read it. You're a brave man, Pastor MacArthur. I appreciate your coming on tonight. Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you. We're out of time. Sean Hannity right now. All right, Tucker, Godspeed to you too. All right.